Hello everybody, this is Etho, and welcome back guys to another episode of the Hermit Pack. Oh man, today's a good day, we got our coffee. <laughs> Let's get another cup brewing. Uh, I have a plan here to begin with guys. We are going to be doing Project Supersonic Donkey. I know, sounds awesome. <laughs> uh, in just a second here, though. But first, it looks like we have a message from our pen pal. So let's check our mail. Yeah, from Miss Gel. Cool. It says, Dear pen pal, it's been a lonely week at the factory. I've had too much time to spare. Yours truly, pen pal. Oh, man, he sent me something. Something amazing. I sent him my first... Uh, that's a spooky door. I sent him my first masterpiece. Oh, look at this thing. He did like a real uh, work of art here. Look at that. That is awesome. So he's got like a, he's got a tree. He's got a lake. It's a little slime. I don't know what this thing over here is. Maybe a campfire? How did he get so many different colors in there though? That's crazy. Here, maybe we'll... Uh, let's put this in front of the building here. So somewhere it'll get seen a lot. Because it's, it's really cool. He did a good job on this. Uh, I sent him my first uh, work of art. <laughs> where, when I was trying to figure out how to use the chisel. And uh, he thought it was pretty funny. It looks like he, he made me a real piece of art here, though. This is awesome. Very cool stuff. I'll have to, I'll have to make him something else here in, in a little bit. But yeah, we're going to try to do Project Supersonic Donkey, guys. So I was looking at the cyclic mob here. This adds like a bunch of quality of life improvement things. Uh, one thing, if you look at the carrots, there's all these different types of carrots. There's a lapis carrot, redstone carrot, and what these do, they add permanent upgrades to like horses, I believe. So you can change the texture with the variant one, I think. There's a redstone carrot that uh, increases the speed so i'm thinking if we give this to a donkey we could get either a max speed horse or maybe even even goes beyond the maximum speed i'm not sure but it's something i definitely want to check out because i'm going to try avoid using a jetpack for a little bit here just stick to normal normal minecraft movement uh and if we could get a super fast horse that would be cool all right the other thing as well cyclic there's a really cool inventory crafting table thing, which I believe turns your crafting window, this thing over here, into a 3x3 three three instead of a 2x2. Two two. So I want to try make this too. Uh, I got pretty much everything except for emeralds and quartz. Uh, so I brought over a villager here to get emeralds. This guy offers speed, speed 3 potions. He'll give us two emeralds for So we got to go get a brewing stand. Uh, we're going to go off to the nether here for the first time, check it out, see what it's like. We made up some fire-resistant coffee. <laughs> oh, actually, uh, I don't want to lose this either. Let's keep that. Be sentimental and keep all the letters we get. Um, all right, let's... Oh, that was a bit of like. Also, I uh, just off-camera did a little bit of Botania stuff, just the, the basic starter things you do. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's some quartz around here. Good. Doesn't look too dangerous. Yeah, this is really nice. Sometimes when you start off in the nether, you're like above a giant uh, lava pool or something. <laughs> Looks like we got a good spawn here. Uh, I'm going to create a waypoint just because I get lost in the nether quite often. There it is. Good. All right, so we know where our portal is, and this looks like redstone, right? Yeah, that's redstone. Oh yeah, I get bricks when I mine the netherrack because I got the auto smelting on my on my thing here. Oh, <laughs> probably got to be careful with that. Uh, but yeah, let's try find some quartz, and we got to find a blaze rod. That's our main goal in here. There's some quartz right over here. Sweet. Oh, is it smelting it? Oh, it is. It's making silicon. Okay, I have a few uses left on this one. Oh, there we go. We got the blaze rod. Sweet. Should we try to get that guy? 
Nah, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> I hate the nether. Whoa, 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 whoa! Nope, 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 nope. Fire resistance coffee, I, I didn't even use it. There we go. Whew. It works. Oh, check this out, guys. We got a letter from Jay Sasson. It says, since you live in such close proximity to people, I figured you could use an efficient annoyance tool. Enjoy. Check this out. <laughs> he was using it on me before. And I could not figure out what the sound was, because he was invisible for some reason, too. Uh, he sent me two letters, actually. What's this other one? I think he was just testing it. Testing, testing. Yeah, there we go. Uh huh. So I realized I forgot to get nether warts. So I'm going back to the nether. Uh, I think we can use this on a red mushroom if we find one to turn it into nether wart. I think it still has some power in it. Oh! Saw some flashes. Uh, nope. That did not work. Let's try to leave it in front. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe it's got to be over there, like where it actually hits. No. Pretty sure this turns into nether wart, though. Somehow. Nope. That worked. I think if it doesn't have enough power, then it doesn't do the conversion. Okay, let's give this thing a try again. It's 180,000 RF now, so it should hopefully be enough power. We'll just put one mushroom in front. And you apparently can turn this between pulse mode and automatic mode with a redstone torch. So right now it would activate with a button press. If I switch it, then it just goes on its own. Yeah, there we go. There we go. How much did that drain? Oh, wow. It took over over 100,000 power to do that. That's why it wasn't working. All right, guys. So I think we're ready to do this now. I got all the stuff needed to make the crafting table enhancement thing here. Um, all we need now is an emerald. Where did he go? Uh, the zombies killed that alchemist villager I had. Somehow they, they killed him through a wall while he was on the balcony. And I just caught another villager and he seems to have ran away. <laughs> I just can't keep these stupid villagers alive. Where did he go? There you are. I know you want coffee. You can't have coffee. All the coffee's for me. You come with us. Okay. Uh, we need this guy anyways, though, because i got to get a saddled for the horses. Inventory crafting table thingy. You eat it like a, like a cookie. <laughs> and... Oh, it doesn't do that. It, it made a C here, though. Oh, okay. Oh, that would have been nice if it actually went here. I guess you got to access another uh, menu. Uh -huh. Mm-hmm. Thank you uh -huh. very much. Oh, there we go. We got him. I think. Yeah, okay. We, we can put the saddle on. So, Project Supersonic Donkey is about to happen here. So, I made a few of the carrots. I made a lapis carrot, a diamond carrot, and a redstone carrot. Um, one of the ones, or the one for jumping requires ender pearls, which I don't have. So we'll have to wait on that. Let's try the variant one. As I thought, it doesn't seem to work on a donkey, because there is only one type of donkey, right? There is a, a carrot for changing the type of horse, so you could probably even get the, the zombie horses with it, I would guess. But uh, it takes emeralds, and I don't really have emeralds. <laughs> I spent them all just getting the saddle. Okay, let's try the health upgrade. So he has 13, 13 hearts. And now he has 14. <laughs> uh, awesome. Very cool. And the big one, though. This is the one I'm really excited about. The speed upgrade. So this is the normal speed of a donkey. Let's see if we can get this going crazy supersonic speed. No! It made, it made the... Oh, no. It might not work. It, it's making black particles. Did it do that for the health one. I can't even remember now. I'll give him a few. These are cheap. Oh! <laughs> he took off. What was that about? Oh no, it's definitely working. It is definitely working. 
<laughs> oh, this is what I've always hoped and dreamed for, guys. This is great. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's the max. Okay, I can't give him any more. So that is max speed. That's why he took off, I think. <laughs> so this is like as fast of a horse as you can get, and we were able to do it for a donkey. So we can give him a chest and stuff too still. Oh man, he has trouble on the hills at this speed. It's kind of crazy. Alright, I want to like boost his health and, and his jumping when we can as well. Because I can make him jump probably five and a half blocks too. <laughs> Which would be awesome. Okay, so I really want to try hit supersonic here, guys. <laughs> I made some speed 2 potions. That'll boost the speed by 40%. And I just saw there's also another thing here. There's these charms you can make that do various things like avoid poison and wither damage. But there's one that speeds up you and your mount, which is perfect. That's what we want exactly. So I'm going to make one of these. Oh, that doesn't go there. And I don't know. Whoa. Oh, it gives you speed too. Did not expect that. <laughs> I thought it would be speed one. Oh, I see it drains durability as you wear it. Okay, so that's what the whole recharging with an emerald's about, I bet. It's like, I, I didn't quite understand what that was for. All right, let's go try this out. Uh, if this gives us speed two, it might give the donkey speed two as well. So then the potions might not do anything. We'll, we'll see here. We'll try it out. All right. Taylor Swift the donkey. <laughs> oh, really got to get some uh, jump potions on this thing, though. Yeah, I don't want the I don't want the cows to get out. All right, so <laughs> yeah, I think it's speed two on the donkey. Oh my goodness, this is so fast. <laughs> let's let's try do the potion though. See if it does anything. I can see the particles on the donkey though. Oh. Can't quite tell if that made a difference. This is insanely quick, though. <laughs> awesome. Anyways, uh, let's move on to some other mod stuff here, guys. What I really need today is some better power generation. Right now, all I've been using is these two sterling generators. I've been feeding them lava. And they are extremely slow. <laughs> extremely slow. Um, so we need something better. And I want to try something I've never done before. There's a lot of options in this pack. A lot of things I've never done before for power generation. Uh, but this one kind of stood out to me. It is the actually additions mod. So it says, using canola, you can make a simple yet effective power generation system from natural resources. To do this, first find some canola plants in the wild and plant them on your farm. The canola you get out of them can be used in a canola press to make canola oil. This can be used in an oil generator. Alright. And then there's also a way of converting the canola oil into oil with a fermenting barrel. And then you can empower it if you want to get more power generation. <laughs> you can take the canola seeds and make these crystallized canola seeds. And then you can combine them for even better things and powered in canola seeds. I don't know. It sounds kind of crazy. I want to try it out here. So the first thing we're going to need for the fermenting barrel. Well, we, we got to make all this stuff. We need the press. We need the fermenting barrel and the oil generator. Okay, so it's going to blast that. Let's see how much power that takes. Very little, actually. Oh, I'm surprised. Well, that's good. Um... So yeah, this makes the crystals. We got those. There we go. Fermenting barrel. The oil generator is what's going to actually produce the power. So we might want a few of these. I'm going to make two of them at least. I'm going to put it next to one of these generators just in case it takes power. It does take power. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess let's try put some canola in here. Yeah, that does it. That works. That made 80 millibuckets of canola oil. What happens if we try to put a seed in here? You cannot put seeds in here. Okay, so it's got to be the canola stuff. Put that in there. Um, then the fermenting barrel. Does that take power? Oh, if you put it next to it, it goes right into it. That's cool. You don't even need a pipe then. 
Oh, and it just, like, right away does it. Cool, so that's turning the canola oil into oil. 80 millibuckets at a time. And if we put a generator next to it, does it go into there? It does, very cool. 70 RF per tick. It burns through that pretty quickly, though. <laughs> so you're going to need a lot of canola. All right, very cool. So this is looking pretty good. It makes a lot of power for, like, very little effort. <laughs> Just put canola in here, you get 70 RF per tick. I like it. Uh, let's try to do this more advanced stuff, though. So the next step, or the next tier to it, would be to make the crystallized canola seeds, which you need this thing to do it. Uh, let's throw a couple of these down. I'm a little confused, though, because you can't crush the seeds in the press. I wonder if we're going to be able to, to do these. No. I should uh, probably mention as well, this is what the canola plant actually looks like here. <laughs> Didn't really show it in video, did I? Uh, so I set up a little garden out here for the worms to take care of. Uh, I'm just trying to speed it up a little bit with the watering can, which is out of water now. You actually have to fill this with water now in extra utilities, too. It's not quite as overpowered as it used to be. And it has a new uh, texture, too. It's kind of cool. So you can just fill it up at, at, at water like this. Or you can put it into, like, a fluid transposer, probably, to fill it up that way. Kind of cool. All right, so we got some canola. If I understand it right, we have to grab a bucket of the oil and then throw the the crystallized canola seed in to get the tier two stuff oh let's put some of this in the press again so we need at least a thousand millibuckets here that's one bucket all right and we'll see if we can pull it out of the the fermenting barrel here do 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 Yes, awesome. Okay, so I think I gotta actually place this in the world and then throw the seed in. Let's see if that works. This is gonna be a, actually kind of a tricky thing to automate. <laughs> so a few steps to it. Yes, awesome. So that consumes one seed and then you get the crystallized oil bucket. Now let's see how much power that makes. So the other one was 70. Oh, uh, can I right click? Yes. 125. Okay. Seems to burn it at the same speed as well. So it's uh, just about double double the power. Okay, guys. So the third stage of this whole canola business is what's called an empower. Uh, we need to make an empower, and we need four of these display stands, I believe. And this requires a fair bit of quartz. We got a atomic reconstructor chisel quartz, regular quartz to make these. Also need a battery, a charged battery. I'm not sure how to do that yet. Uh, so I'm I'm back in the nether here. <laughs> Mining quartz, getting levels. I finally hit level 30 again. I'm so excited. I can enchant a Osmium Paxel here. So, <laughs> I have no enchanted tools at the moment, so I'm pretty much happy with anything here, but I would love to get Fortune 3. Uh, we got two shots here. Okay, that's a good sign. Efficiency four. Just efficiency four. Darn. Okay, last chance. XP boost three. Uh, XP boost three, efficiency four, unbreaking three. Okay, that's really good. I'm happy with that. And I am level 36 now. I, I had to go back to the nether, did some more mining, and XP boost and nether ores. Oh my goodness, you get so much XP. <laughs> it is awesome. Uh, so we're good on that department now, I think. Uh, I'm making some cables, some conduits. Let's see. Oh, can we get one more? Oh, it's so slow. Everything is so slow. All right. Do this and do this. I made all the display stands and then power. All right. So, yeah, our goal here is to make these empowered canola seeds. High-tech canola oil. <laughs> Uh, to do this, we need the empower. Oh, where'd it go? Not there. Empower. Here we go. Okay, so this is how we're supposed to set it up. The empower goes in the middle, and then the display stands two blocks apart from it. And it says we have to um, charge every one of these display stands with a lot of RF. All right, so that's what the cables are for. 
Well, let's go ahead and just put it in the middle here just to try it. And ideally, I would like to automate this too. Automatically make these super seeds. All right, so I think it's supposed to be like that. And I guess I'll just kind of crummily <laughs> run these cables. Nothing too fancy. I don't know if you have to charge the middle one. I'm not, we'll try without it first. All right, do that. Oh, we got plenty of cables. Okay, I think we're good. And this, uh, the oil generators, you can move them without losing the power or the oil. So that's that's going to be really handy. So if I place it down here, it should start charging the stuff. Yep, looking good. Okay, so empowered, empowered canola seeds. We need the crystallized one in the middle and the regular ones on the displays. Let's give this a try. Oh, things are flashing. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> okay. That was cooler than I expected, actually. <laughs> Very cool. So it's kind of like an infusion altar from Thomcraft sort of idea. Uh, how did that... I wonder how that did on the power. Let's, let's give it another try here. Zoo. <laughs> no sound effects, though, unfortunately. That would that would really add to it. Okay, and lastly here, let's try out uh, throwing this in the oil like we did before. See if that does it. No, it doesn't. Okay, so we might need to put the crystallized canola oil. Or <laughs> crystallized canola seeds first, and then... Yes, and then the empowered ones. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Now we have empowered oil. Ooh la la. How how's this do in here now? So it was 125 for the crystallized stuff. This is 200, so it's almost double again. And again, it seems to burn it at about the same speed. All right, guys. Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to wrap up the episode here for today. Uh, but we got that figured out, and we got uh, a good source of power generation now. We'll try to automate that for next time and set up a, a place in our base uh, that looks nice for it, hopefully. But to finish up here, we are going to do three enchantments. Let's see if we can get fortune. XP boost three, four, efficiency four. Okay, it's not bad. It's not bad. Soul bound. Hello. Prevents item from being lost on death. It, it just got soul bound. Just. Ouch. I guess I could combine it with another one with an anvil and it would be pretty good. All right, unbreaking three. That's a good sign. Uh, oh, efficiency five on an initial enchantment. I didn't even know that would, was possible. That's crazy. Cool. All right, no fortune three, no silk touch, but got a couple good picks anyways. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for watching, and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.